What's up guys, it's Misha with Winnie Designs and today I'm going to show you how to install this really cool vessel tub. Uh, it's fiberglass, it's pretty light. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do it and how we did it on this project. And uh, also we got this faucet installed over here and I'll show you how that went in as well. And hopefully you guys can follow along, comment down below what you think about the end product of this because I think at the end it's going to look so freaking nice. We're going to run the faucet, show you how fast that thing runs as well. And we're gonna go downstairs and do all the plumbing as well, all right? So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get to the video. Let's go. All right, so for our installation, we have two two and a half inch holes. One was over here. And basically the way that goes in, there's a there's a some screws back here that hold it down. And this goes down over the top of that. And then this goes, this goes, it's kind of just screws on and then this gets installed just like a, a, a faucet like you've handy faucet there's two supply lines that go down into the basement and i'll show you what those look like um the diverter just pulls and then this goes to your wand the tub actually came with one of these weird p-traps so the way that this works is you could attach that over here like this you could attach that there and then which which would allow you to have this hole anywhere under your tub. Anywhere under your tub, then the, the hole can go. And then this will go down into the P-trap downstairs or into the drain downstairs. We were lucky enough where our drain, like once we set our tub and where we wanted to put it, there was no floor joists or anything like that. And I'm basically going to just hard plumb it right into our P-trap. Because what's going to happen then, this is going to sit right here and it's, um, I'm going to foam around it from the bottom and make it really stiff. So that's going to add a lot of strength to this tub. So like if you nudge it, it's not just gonna shift over. With this guy, if you push on the tub a little bit, it will basically pu push the tub. So this will actually anchor the tub right here where it's supposed to go. Uh, for the assembly, we have this guy goes here and then this guy goes here. And then this, all this stuff goes into the basement and then everything else happens from the basement, just like a regular bathtub or whatever, just a P-trap. Um, for the threads here, I'm actually going to just put a little bit of Teflon tape, nothing crazy. Teflon tape, I'm gonna do three passes. Three passes here and then I'm going to put some of this Pro Dope over that as well, just to make sure that it binds nice and that uh, basically this helps the this helps the fitting slide better into the threads and not just destroy the Teflon tape. So um, put it on like frosting on a cookie or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just kind of put a, some on this. Just gook it up like so. Thing. This slides right over that, nice and tight. Hand tight will be okay. So we got that. Make sure that this this is nice and tight here. Also, hand tight. That's your overflow valve, like your overflow that's coming from the tub. Yep. Tighten this up. Next. We have our glue and then our primer. We're gonna do both. One second. I got my channel locks, so we're gonna open up our primer. And then we're going to open up our glue. Glue. I'm gonna prime, prime both of these ends. Always nice to have a little drop cloth next to you when you do this. So this just basically cleans it up, the primer. Then we'll have our glue. Put it on thick, you know what I'm saying? On there, when we put that in, push it all the way in and then give it a twist. The twist is really what kind of seals it. I'll hold that for a second and then we're gonna put the tub in. Make 
just like so. That's nicely centered right here. And now, now we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna do all the P-trap and all the plumbing from downstairs. Let's go. All right, so we got everything dry fitted. Now we can go ahead and start gluing it in. Um, make sure you kind of figure out your dry fit first um, because you don't want to be playing around with all the, with all the glue when you're uh, trying to cut and things like that. So again, we're gonna do a little prim primer here, primer on this side. We've got glue, glue on this side. Put that in. Like I said earlier, it just helps a ton to have everything dry fitted first and then you just reassemble it. As you're installing it, make sure that you're putting primer on all the fittings and all the ends. Then also just put a lot of glue. It's okay if it's messy. As you're putting it in, make sure that you're twisting your pipe a little bit, like half turn, to make sure that it has got good contact. And that's it. There's nothing to it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. All right, and that's it. So now our tub is plumbed in, everything downstairs is ready to go. And then we're gonna go upstairs now. And actually, before we do that, let me show you exactly what we did here with our supply lines. Come over here. So right here, as you can see, our two supply lines are coming right down there. So they're coming right down from there, hot and cold. And we just teed off of the vanity supply lines right there. Went right to it. Make sure you support them with clamps and that's it. So that's not um, anything special over there. It's literally just gets, goes right in there. All right. So once we have that, now we're going to go upstairs and test everything out. All right. So here's the tub. It's in here pretty sturdy. I'm still going to put a little foam around that actual pipe that's coming up here for the drain, but let's see how it works. Okay. That's cold for the back, a hot for the front. And then we have this guy here, handheld. So that pulls out and we have that spray here. Going up pretty quick. Push that back, push back to that. And then here, this is a push, push popper. So you just push it and it's going to drain. So now we're gonna see how good of a job we did downstairs. 